1001 Steps in the Ocean Park neighborhood of South Surrey. Known today as a well-built set of stairs down to the rocky shore of Semianu Bay. It started off as a treacherous and often muddy trail cut out of the side of a steep cliff to catch the train or to collect mail. Ocean Park was settled in the 1880s by pioneer Ben Stevenson, who acquired 350 acres of land and built a large home overlooking Semiamu Bay. In the early 1900s, 136 acres were acquired in order to provide the members of the Methodist Church a place where they could vacation. Promotional materials named the area Ocean Park, and in 1910, the church offered its first summer camp. Since then, much of the land has been sold off for housing. However, in 2007, the last remaining 13 acres of the site were sold to the city of Surrey as parkland. Camp Quobaeus was the second oldest camp accredited with BC Camping and the oldest camp using its original campsite. When the Great Northern Railway completed the tracks through the Ocean Park Peninsula, residents built a small shed next to the tracks in 1912 which the railway reluctantly accepted as a stop along the route was used by residents of Vancouver and New Westminster who would travel to the area for vacation. With the nearest post office a couple miles north in Crescent Heights, mail had to be picked up and brought back to Ocean Park for distribution. The third postmaster, Mr. F. D. Pratt, obtained a six by six foot prefabricated building which he placed on the southeast corner of 126A Street and 16th Avenue in 1921. In the late 1920s, the building was featured in Ripley's Believe It or Not as the world's smallest post office, which generated extra mail to people all around the world wanting a postmark from Ocean Park. Mail was delivered and received by a catch post on the Great Northern Railway line at the foot of Semiamu Bluff. It was then carried the 500 yards over the steep trail to the post office. The fifth postmaster, Reverend Robert Hughes remembered slipping on the icy trail in winter and riding the mail like a toboggan to the bottom. In 1950, when a new office was built, the old office was loaded onto a truck to go to the Surrey Museum. It never arrived, and to this day, no one knows what happened to the world's smallest post office. In the 50s, neighbors built the first set of earthen and board steps which made navigating the steep terrain much easier and safer to visit the beach. In March of 1946, two mudslides came down on the tracks, sideswiping a train headed to Seattle. The engine, along with five loaded boxcars, were shoved onto the rocks of the beach. Its crew narrowly escaped death or serious injury. Luckily, the one carrying whiskey for thirsty Americans was left intact. A similar wreck from 1914 derailed the engine and killed the engineer. In the 90s, Surrey built the current staircase, which isn't 1001 steps as the name suggests. It's actually only 234 steps. The original name is a mystery, with stories from kids in the early days saying it felt like 1001 steps to climb to the top, to the actual distance and steps it took from the mail drop at the railway tracks to the post office. The secluded beach used to be a popular spot for teenagers to party and have bonfires. However, due to noise complaints and safety concerns related to the nearby active rail line, these activities have mostly stopped. Today the stairs are used by hundreds of people out for a casual walk with stunning views to those seeking exercise, running up and down over and over, or by beachgoers to one of Greater Vancouver's few clothing optional beaches.